Hi guys, I'm working on annual 2019 telescopes. They're actually lots of fun. They give you lots of insight about every single segment of your life. And it's kind of like divided by quarters. It's divided by section of your life. And it's going to be a really interesting guide. Uh, it was really, really um, well received last year. So now this is your time to get them one sign for 1995 or all signs. So you can check your ascendant, you can check your moon sign, you can check your friends, you know, somebody that you're like having an eye on for 39.95. It is a really good time to order right now because the moment when I deliver the first one, the price is going up to 29.95 and to 39.95. So, yeah, I invite you to order. Like, the link is down in the description. You can see it. You can go right there. And this is, like, really, really good time to take advantage of. So, for those of you who are steady subscribers, please, you know, do that. It's great for you. It's great for me to support my channel. And those of you who are here the first time, you can actually check my um, timelines and you can see I release them somewhere late in July so you can see how they look like. Okay guys, so let's start with the reading. Hi Cancer and welcome to your monthly. Um, just remember this is general so you need to kind of like put as many puzzles together so check your ascendant, check your moon sign and of course get a reading with me and I just realized I put this card in there so let's start with first of all what is it that got through meditation and I got for your sign forward we are going to see how is this going to be interpreted with what I get here it is definitely positive to start with so let's see cancer for the next 30 days and you have yourself wow lovely Cancer for the next 30 days. New love. Oh la la. Cancer for the next 30 days. You're having success. <laughs> oh my god. This is kind of like abundance of lovely, lovely things. Cancer for the next 30 days. And I've got them all. Oh my gosh, the dawn of new beginnings, new love, yourself. This is like absolutely spectacular from what I'm seeing here. When do we start? Where do we start? Like, so the new love and new beginnings is here and there's like something really successful coming your way. So let's start here. It says, others affect your life. Redefine your personal boundaries. It is kind of like something that um, in in a society we live, it is something that's really difficult for us to say no. We are trying to collaborate. We are trying to kind of like work with others. But sometimes it is really needed that we establish who we are because look at that. There is like this energy and everybody wants something. They're like strings connecting with everybody. But they also pull the strings, right? They also push these buttons. So it's kind of like, what is that ego? What is like your personal territory? And I think the point of life is understanding ego because on the other side, there is no ego. There is like that universal love. And this is really time for you to reaffirm and redefine your personal boundaries, to really realize if certain situations are a reflection of your ego or they're really meant to be over there. You need to be that introspective to understand that. Are you living your life also more for someone else or are you living it primarily for yourself? There is that balance, as you can see, neither of that stuff is necessarily good or bad. It has to be balanced in between the two. Maybe you guys have been too influenced by somebody in your life, so you really need to be true to yourself and just the doors will just like open wide. If you feel that you're doing something that doesn't honor you, you need to reconsider your view of who you are and, and how are you behaving in particular in relationships. Put yourself first this time around and your relationship will actually benefit. You do need to kind of like figure out if you're doing 
this in the best interest of the relationship because the relationship is no longer just you it is two people but it has to be this balance in give and take so this is definitely a period where it's asking you to develop that um, strong sense of yourself you need to nurture yourself you need to nurture maybe certain things that have been forgotten maybe you kind of like went down the path where you were too accommodating and I mean I can tell you my example I I'm extremely easygoing person I'm not one of these people who is going to not to like certain food and I would never remove something from my plate but that easygoing can actually explode in your face you and I remember situation and have a group of friends we we usually get together we kind of try different cuisines and it was one time that I really felt like eating and I believe it was Thai food and I said oh, well let's do that I really feel like it and never before did I kind of like voice what I want and I'm not a, a pussycat I kind of like when it comes to friendship I'm really really easy going and no nobody wanted to do it and guess what I noticed I noticed and it kind of like really really bothered me that situation and I really realized that if you don't start establishing your boundaries along the way when you need something and even if you don't need something it's very very important because down the road it could be just like mm, this is the way it is where it isn't so it is like sometimes really thinking through the situation that we ne really need to do and I can see this like forward something uh, is shifting in a really really good direction you are actually almost going to see new energy coming into your life so now seeing these three cards I really think they, they have to be seen together new beginnings so Dawn look at this sun rays isn't this like feeling fresh and I don't care how old you are I'm really feeling that there is like this newfound will to explore new opportunities no matter what happened before you know how the older we get the more reasons we come up with why we cannot do things know this know that well guess what this is kind of like something that is forecasting sun's appearance and sun is like that life force we can't live without it it is like something that is like kind of like getting really really nourished and we see a very very strong sun over here but look at this this is the world over here so so guys we are clearly seeing here there is like some new motion some new way of moving it forward a new way and a new direction which is going to be very satisfactory for you it's almost like um, not only self-discovery but embracing things in a completely different way moving it forward so your signs sometimes where you know how basically crab kind of like sometimes goes sideways and sometimes really really pulls back so it's sometimes really one step forward two steps back maybe this is like now this time that you are moving forward and when you go forward you go very very fast and you get what you want so what I'm going to next I'm going to shuffle cards and we're going to see what else is coming up your way this month Right, cancer we have eight of C and the Empress eight of C reversed over here this is like a clearly telling me there is like a nourishing quality that is coming over here eight of C is that card which is basically something unknown calling us we kind of like really want to see what is out there we want to see new so here it came reverse so this is telling me that it was something that you were trying to reach you were trying to go somewhere or maybe you did go out maybe you did reach out but now you realize well wait a minute what they had was not only good enough it was great I am maybe returning back this could just like simply talking about your surroundings which basically uh, can talk about your blood family can talk about um, your friends that there is like something that you're finding as a huge emotional connection there is like this creativity also in your approach to to life in this period so let's see what we have well yet we have another eight let's leave this out 
Interesting enough, eights are relating to strength heart, and strength is talking about getting out of trouble. So maybe you felt constrained for a while with this coming through. This is coming through saying, well, do not panic. Um, some situation that maybe is immobilizing you because Kitty is like just seeing everything as basically a threat. There are like those bats coming and I'm stuck over here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. So what is the solution? Solution is, hey, relax. Don't start just like, I mean, uh, jerking in all kinds of like directions. Just relax and slowly start coming out. You kind of like need to remove whatever the veil. It could be that this is talking about certain things that you imposed upon yourself, that you're not seeing the way out, that you're not seeing how to exit from certain situations. And this is now a time for you to kind of like maybe be more strategic and kind of like do these things one at a time. This tells me it's kind of like really interesting that you're having air and water coming through here as an eight. Air is always saying this is kind of like in your head. Sometimes we kind of come up with the idea and that idea becomes reality even though it isn't reality. So we attach that emotional things to that whatever feeling of reality that is really really not there. So let's see this is being crossed with three of C. And three of C um, reversed, it tell me that some of you maybe got tangled up in a relationship that is really not something um, that is really serving your needs. You may have tried something different. Maybe you have been third is the crowd kind of a thing. This could be like really three people or more involved in a situation. It could be that you're involved with a person who also has ob other obligations such as children, but it could be also that you're involved with a person who um, who is trying to be with you because there is like some need that is being served. That person could be taken though. We're going to see how this uh, actually shows further because this is telling me that you at this stage, you have been probably leaving and coming back, leaving and coming back. It's kind of one of, one of those in and out relationships kind of a thing. So the base over here is four of earth, reversed, which is really good. Here we see Kitty with a whole bunch of toys. And look at this, look at my toys, look at everything. The truth is, it's like so much more fun when you play with them. It's so much more fun when you engage others. And that's exactly what's happening here. The toys are coming out, um, the walls are coming down. Um, maybe you have been in some kind of like self-protective mode. And that self-protective mode is like putting a band-aid on a wound. It's really good when you put it on, right? Because it protects you from all this kind of harmful uh, bacteria in the air. So it's kind of like it gives you that nourishment. But you need to remove it at one point and let the air really do the healing as well. So it's kind of like the stages that they're going through. It's not kind of like going to stay there forever. So this is also telling me that you are now uh, needing to remove that band-aid. Something was a temporary solution. The temporary solution now, the crotch, needs to go. You And you're like afraid on some level going in this new direction. And you're afraid based on like what surrounds you which kind of like is going to change significantly by the end of the month. And then you have this sea kitten. This could be about rejection. Uh, it's reversed, right? It could be that maybe um, you were expressing, you know, interest in somebody or even love in someone and either the offer was not accepted or maybe you were waiting for somebody to come your way and it was kind of like a big N.O. kind of a thing. And obviously that's kind of situation that got you stuck. Maybe you wanted to go to this next level. Maybe you want to solidify and make something like very strong, but instead it could have been a disappointment over here. It was like some nourishing quality that somebody was not receiving, whether this was you or somebody else. So let me see what is above here. And there is like this Fire King. 
reversed. Wow, wow. For a king reversed is really talking about energy, about somebody who is very active, somebody who, uh, you know, he loves to do things because look at him. Like he even has his own fire pedestal over here, right? So this fellow over here is somebody who is going to go on the dates. It's almost like that you maybe have been dealing with someone who who is very engaging, with whom you could kind of like do different things. But also what has happened over here is that maybe somebody let you down. Maybe somebody um, didn't take this whole relationship as, well, you know, we are two equals. Somebody took a lead and somebody was kind of like pushing this all in their direction so maybe somebody just abused your goodness and your kindness and just made maybe quick judgment about who you are and what you can kind of bring and maybe you are being uh, accused of this that you are the one who is like pushing uh, and that you know like they don't want that so it kind of like could have been some kind of like power struggle this person can appear or can be very manipulative and the other people sometimes don't tell you right away I'm on to you or you don't tell them but that's kind of like it was a situation which also added kind of like too much gas on fire and then we are going to see Tom over here so we have a sea kitten here and we have a sea tom because your water sign this is a wonderful news look at that we are going from somebody just like touching kind of like the wetness and seeing this playfulness in it to hey i'm rolling all over kind of like look at me come and pet me there is like a very very loving ability that is kind of like being woken up this is definitely talking about new romance or refreshed new attitudes in the romance it kind of like moving things forward that's that new beginning that's that new love and it is love the way you like it it's not with somebody who you be whom you have to do whole bunch of adjustments no this is like really something where you're finding yourself it's kind of like free flowing almost like as if you know how we get together with friends and we don't have any particular expectations we just like do and when you're tired you just go home you don't really want what come in wonder if you're going to hurt their feelings just like you are and here it's going to be like really really smooth flowing with this person it's kind of like feel hey you're just a friend but it's actually more I'm feeling really intrigued my heart is beating faster when I'm around you right you feel like million dollars that's why you're walking on top of the world and clearly clearly that's happening when we are in that initial stage of love your feelings oh my god ace of sky this is victory it is kind of like Again, this is not the same card, but it has the same kind of like exuberance in it. This means cutting something from the past and also um, actually establishing those personal boundaries. And it's going to be clear from the get-go who you are, what you want, and in which direction you really want to go. So let's see your environment. <laughs> you have the star. Actually, stars in this deck. Kitty is over here looking at this amazing lion and of course saying oh my gosh I really really look good when I'm projected up there in the sky right this is the card that is extremely important and it is my favorite card from all of them in a deck this really talks about that hope that belief that kind of like is the time to move forward right and cats are kind of like probably you know aware of that consciousness connectivity with the other things right so you need to understand that you are a star you might even actually meet somebody who is out of your league but you're going to be able to provide them something that they have been really really looking for and this is also somebody who might be uh, who is going to be very unique and precious and uh, they might be a little bit, <laughs> how to say it, out there. This card sometimes represents Aquarius. So it might be kind of like that influence of a person who is very talkative, who's going to approach you in a kind of very friendly manner, right? And 
you need to have faith that if something picks, if somebody picks your interest, then just like roll with this. It's kind of like understanding that this person is actually divinely guided. Somebody was is coming your way because that somebody can actually provide this like very nourishing ability. So I do see very strong air, but I also see earth and fire, or <laughs> actually I see water. So all of it, anything goes over here. It's just like going to be a really, really amazing period for you. So let me see. Obviously there are some still fears and hesitations, so let's clarify it a little bit more. And you have the moon reversed. So <laughs> lovely card right so do you ever see cats like that they're like so cute when they're like this intense it came reversed the moon generally talking about perceptions and talking about like that things are not necessarily as they appear to be right also this card the rules are dreams and rules everything that kind of like exists when we are not fully awake that kind of like gray zone right in between science and religion that's where we are over here so you kind of like really uh, sometimes need to kind of go to people with this and interest interestingly enough we have this dawn which basically moon reverse is dawn it's kind of like clarity is coming and um but at the same time this is asking you not to forget all these intuitive messages all these messages from the dreams that you have been receiving there was like almost like transmission happening to you telling you it's a new day you need to kind of like move forward and this is um as it falls in the categories and hopes and dreams you actually really hope that uh, you're going to have a clarity in a situation that you're going to have drama-free relationship but you also fear that you're going to have the same old and same old feeling stuck and it's a fear of moving in a new relationship what if this person does something uh, of course this actually card has moon in it even though this card really belongs to Pisces moon is also your ruler so it does talk about this energy so you have both Sun the Sun and the moon and this is a very very strong combination um, that is to have so let's see where this is leading oh my gosh the death reversed there is like a huge hesitation guys and look at how basically sad this card is but look at this the nine lives actually leaving right so there were lots of tries maybe what is hesitation maybe what is like stopping you of moving forward are the past experience it's kind of like no no no. I tried this no no, no I don't want to do that however prior to this you have been doing things in the same way all the time same things doing it over and over and over again and expecting different results right that's the definition of insanity so in this particular case this is really calling for you to kind of like shed that past we are going back to this it's going to be a month of finding your old center finding how others affect your life redefining your personal boundaries or defining what goes because it cannot be same old same old if you are actually applying different rules because you are really really um, going to close yourself from something that is like so wonderful and so giving coming into your life so cancer look at these majors arcanas that you have one two three four this is a really big deal there is like something coming toward you and something that is like not kind of like um, all you can do it you don't have to do it it's not optional it's mandatory when you have major arcanas big changes are happening and it's telling you hey do you still want to suffer and go for the one more two more three more spins or do you really actually want to kind of like jump in and trust and trust that you're doing the good thing this time around somebody really really well coming in your life who's going to give you like this like kind of like vision of free and vision of kind of like absorbing things so I want to clarify a few things I do want to clarify this for a king and I guess uh, that the dead card so why is this fire king here for cancer why is the fire king 
my dear, for Cancer. So we have pleasure seekers and we have prison. Now, this could have been a third party relationship. It could be that somebody uh, was saying one thing, romancing you and promising you the world, but nothing really happened. It was a lots of lip service. They are still stuck where they are. Um, it is kind of like that you need something more pragmatic. Uh, you, you need somebody to kind of like really get out of the situation that they were saying they're going to get out. And this is one of those big things you're going to discover that you're going to do this month. It's just going to be that shift. It's going to be, you know what? Yeah, we have been going through this for quite a while. How about we don't do that anymore? Because it's going to be a bone of contention and we need to kind of like figure things out differently. So let me also check this three of C because that can be related to that. Why is this three of C here for cancers? And we have interestingly very pensive kind of like two cards. We have a scholar and we have old woman. Scholar can be reversed. So it is really telling me that you were trying to find a solution to some kind of situation. Maybe this is really talking about the rejection. Maybe somebody here is having issues, which could be mental issues, which could be kind of like a little physical health, that something is really affected. But it's also talking about that you had to learn things about yourself. An old woman here represents somebody who can give you a really good advice simply based on life experience and based on sort of like how somebody created a sense of comfort for themselves. So this is kind of like really, really important to understand. So I, I really think you were swimming upstream. Your friends were probably telling you that something is not good for you. Your friends were warning you, but you had kind of like one track mind and you were going in a direction that maybe didn't end well for you. And in the very end, you kind of like felt stuck in a situation because you felt you cannot even turn to anybody because it's going to be, I told you so. But that not everything was wrong. Like your intentions were were there. Intentions were kind of like really, it was like well intended. And it is time to get unstuck. It is a time right now to go back to see what that advice was. What was possibly even that intuition that was coming through to you that you just drove right through it. You didn't care. Let me see this like death card because this is clearly saying there is like no need to suffer guys. No need to go through the same motions. It is like really time to kind of like have a new and fresh attitude in a situation. And of course you have cheerfulness and you have money. There's still possible some, and again, I'm seeing three people, and again, I'm seeing that instead of moving forward, some of you are going to hesitate and kind of like scare crow back into their little hole. It's telling you celebrate, celebrate. There is like still this issue. Maybe uh, there is an issue about secrets when the money card shows up because we actually still don't know what's going on in all these books. But that simply could mean that there is a situation that is really hard to tolerate, but there is like lots of money at stake. And this could just actually really talk about your business. And things need to transform. Something needs to end and something new needs to begin. But you're in that space in between where y obviously there is like this some kind of like sense of being trapped. Going into this new direction, understanding what you can do, no matter what the consequences, what you need to kind of like follow your emotions this time around. And as I said, just like somebody who might sidetrack you with a romance, with this kind of like flirtatious kind of attitude, maybe exactly what doctors basically orders are. And that actually really can work. And I also will check the moon reversed. Why is this moon reversed there for my cancers? Moon reversed, moon reversed, and we have love again, and we have a despair reversed. So again, this card was like about your fears and about your hopes. So of course, you're thinking about love. I absolutely see this it's going to be huge. Love is in the air. Guys, be open to new people. And the moon is talking about 
also jealousies and that's the fears I cannot do this all over again there is like the sense of how do I move forward and not repeat the same mistakes well very simply like the entire life uh, we can actually redefine our boundaries and in which direction are we going so it is very very important to, um, to kind of like to look into this over here so let me just grab one more card for you to seal the reading and guys again just do not do not do not um, miss this new opportunity you need to flirt you need to sidetrack because all of a sudden the energy in you is going to be different but make it be different don't do the same things don't open everything up to this new person go in stages but somebody is going to be so transparent with you that this is going to be very very appealing and you are literally going to just like change your entire wiring your entire makeup is going to be completely lovely and different so really really good for you i have to say i'm a little bit envious over here so cancers let me get advice for you cancer advice for the next 30 days and guys just get a reading with me we can see all of these things and maybe have an advice so you have wishing well so let's see what is this all about it's just amazing i love the cards so if you have any fountain or anything you can throw the coin in this is your time to do it so this is what it says desire is the sacred impulse for life feel it but let go of all attachment to ownership so this person here is going to be just like that you will not be able to hold this person down and yet they're going to be so transparent it is going to be very irresistible and it's no no like i mean obviously it's not a big surprise that you're feeling this fear oh my gosh you know I, i'm kind of like going downhill again you need to kind of like trust yourself you need to trust that if the point comes that certain things need to happen then you will know how to react and that's the difference this is what it says desire is the most important impulse for creating life now you're seeing the relationship between desire and inspiration and sensing that moment of truth when you feel the inception of new life it's an aha moment when everything makes sense. Perhaps you recognize a soulmate, or you're conceiving a baby or an idea. The Wishing Well card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings. Divine intelligence activates the field of possibilities where new life is co-created in a magical way. Neither you nor everyone else can know how or why this happens. It just does. To that end, you can't control the process of growth. Rather, you must step aside to be a channel for higher forces and relinquish any attachment to how this new creation should appear or when. Form your intention and take action by dropping the coin into the wishing well. Then trust in spirit and prepare to be amazed. Lovely. Let's leave it at that. Cancer, you know where to find me, ketero.ca. Um, you have my info down below, and hopefully I'll see you on Instagram and on Facebook. And until the next time, Cancers, you know that I love you. All the best.